Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a reading for mid-May. Also, just like the residual effects of the Scorpio full moon happening on May 7th. I feel like that's going to be really powerful full moon. It's our last super moon of the year and it's in Scorpio. It's just very transformative, very deep, emotional, and um, intense, all right? So we're going to do the mid-May energies for you guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and 12th house placements. I'm going to start off by pulling one overall animal card. Two came out. I'm just going to take the bottom one. Horse. Love it. Okay. Got a lot of stamina. Got a lot of energy and strength and vitality here. Going into mid-May, I'm going to read from the book and see what it says about the horse and the overall symbolism of that, according to this Animal Magic um, Oracle deck by... Esther Sanchez, E-F-G-H. All right. <clears throat> Horse, endurance. I have the stamina to realize my potential. Imagine a horse with, this, with its boundless energy galloping across the plain. Strong and unwavering, horses have carried us on their backs for centuries. We can harness their strength to carry us towards our goals. Horse reminds us of the inner strength we all possess and how much we have already endured. Use horse's energy to pick yourself up on the days you feel lethargic or when a deadline is close and you're almost too weary to finish. Horse will also nudge you when you need to rest and recharge before you continue or when you feel disconnected, listless, or fatigue. Rest is crucial to build the strength and endurance you need to realize your potential. You have carried yourself through many advers advers adversities. I don't know why I and you have the fortitude to continue doing so. Imagine yourself as strong, sturdy, and unstoppable, swiftly galloping towards your goals. Beautiful. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this could be an energy that you're in or an energy that you could call in to help you if you start to feel kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, mid-May here, right? But just remember how far you've come and that you have the strength and endurance to keep going. All right, so with that, I'm going to pull some messages. And also, I just love the softness of their noses. I love that, like the horse like snout. I don't know if any of you guys grew up around horses or anything, but I love that part of their face. <laughs> it's weird. All right, um, let's get two more Oracle cards here. Do not play the victim. This is a good Pisces one. I just got this deck. It's called Briar and Blossom from Amanda Lynn Hall's Inner Realms. I should know the name. It's like Inner Seven Realms or Inner Realms. It's on Etsy. You can find it. She has three decks. This is her newest one, and I love it. Do not play the victim, all right? It's not just because it's not um, becoming, but everyone can play the victim at some point. I think people do it because they maybe didn't get that... Um, they always maybe had, they were sensitive and they didn't get that validation. Sometimes people use it to get out of taking responsibility. Sometimes people just want that attention. Sometimes people are comfortable being in a coddled position. Whatever your reason is, it's not to be judged. It's just like, this isn't going to help you with that horse energy because you're disempowering yourself by like identifying as a victim, okay? I have like a whole different kind of spiel on the victim mentality. I do think that it comes from a very deeply wounded place. Also, it kind of comes from a manipulative place in a way. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. So this is what it's saying. It's like, were you really the victim or were you the perpetrator? And if you were the perpetrator, it's okay. We all sometimes are, you know, but be honest with yourself, like who's really the victim here and what's really the story, not the Pisces version of the story, because Let's be honest, Pisces, it's not that they're dishonest to be harmful, but I feel like a lot of times they live in this um, fantasy realm. And I'm not knocking Pisces, it's my favorite sign. I have like a million Pisces friends and I have three um, placements in the 12th house, my son. So in a way, I'm very Piscean. My Lilith is in Pisces too. But um, it's this way of avoiding escaping reality because Pisces don't do well in the very earthly planes okay so but at some point you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be honest because that's the way you move forward with clarity and you move forward with integrity okay so that is the spiel on that we're gonna get into your love dynamic and see what's going on I already feel this is a very Piscean 
I think the horse energy can really help you guys too. So um, I'm going to use Ocean of Emotion. I'm probably going to use a few decks from Bridget Rouse. She's a um, deck maker and also she has three, uh, two um, YouTube channels, Divine Essentials and Bridget Rouse. So we're going to see what's going on with your energy, with their energy. The person you're dealing with, this is the romantic part of the reading. So if you're not interested, you could end the reading right now. But everyone that knows me knows this is kind of how I roll. I'm going to actually pull a couple of astrology cards to see what the astrological energy is here. We do have this big Scorpio full moon coming up. So uh, Mystic Moon Oracle, dark, uh, Spirit of Darkness and Light. We're going to use Angelic Revelations 144 to get some messages from them. And... Um, Something else I wanted to use. Oh, masculine madness. Okay, perfect. We've got, oh, we got three here. Where's my masculine madness at? Okay. And then we'll get. This um, tarot vampires here for some of your energy. These are all stuck together. So these piles are mind, heart, and soul where you're at and where they're at, okay? So first pile is three of cups for where your mind is at. Spirit of the scales, karma, justice, balance. When I saw this three of cups, I saw it as a third party situation. So you could be thinking a lot if you were dealing with someone that had a third party or if you're in a third party, but you're wanting balance and justice. You maybe feel like the victim, which in that case, you really could have been, but it doesn't serve you to stay in that space. But you might just be wanting karma. You might be wanting balance. Could be dealing with a Libra with that balance, karma, energy, justice aggressor tracker provider number 32 okay so you you might feel like almost like aggressive in this like wanting balance you might be like really trying to make it happen but if you are the feminine make sure you don't embody this energy too much because this is not being in your feminine power this is being in a masculine power and you will drive the masculine away if you embody that emperor energy because you're supposed to be more receptive it's okay to want balance and justice but transmute that energy to do something more functional for your own life and not you're not supposed to be the hunter as the feminine so make sure if you are in that space to get out of that okay and then for them we have I know we are meant to be and I'm committed to our love commitment okay interesting I write you messages and then I delete them because I just can't seem to find the words to express my truth to you at this time be honest with yourself, but this person has to be honest with you too. Spirit of the dummy, weak, follower, clueless. This person feels like an idiot, all right? I feel like they realized you were someone they would have wanted like something long-term with and they messed it up. I have a lot in this pile. You feel so far away distance. You guys might have not been communicating recently and they're starting to feel that distance between you guys. And then we have Pallas, P-A-L-L-A-S for the astrology card. So I'm gonna um, see what the energy of that is never seen that before that is where's palace on here hmm. Hmm. oh the warrior justice okay so this is interesting you guys are mirroring each other with that they want karmic balance as well they might want to bring you that justice um they might also feel like you made them the victim in some way, um, but they also want to create balance. So, or they might be bringing it to you. So that's very interesting. You guys are both seeking that justice here. In your heart, we have rebellion, upstart, tumult, revolution, 33. You guys might just be sick of it, sick of the in, in, um, injustice, spirit of the wolf, loner, fierce instinct. You, your heart is almost like stone at this point, I feel like, okay? Judgment. Um, you're having this major awakening. You want, you want, you want, um, I want to say justice. It's like, I keep repeating that. But you want things to, this to score to be set. You want things to be right. You want 
things to finally have that judgment day, okay? But I feel like you guys are in this very, like, harsh, like, I'm over it kind of energy. Like, I'm moving forward. F this connection. I'm done. Let's see where they're at. Nobody understands the darkness inside of me. Inner demons. I would have, I would like to seek professional help together to heal our relationship and move forward in a healthy way. So they want to like, they want to bring you justice, but I feel like you guys are saying you want it, but in a way you kind of want to throw in the towel. Mercury, logical energy, um, analytical energy. They're thinking about this a lot. I just want to see what it says for Mercury here. I already know what it means, but um, the messenger Gemini, Virgo, and third house communicate. They want to communicate something to you, okay? They want to communicate that you actually are the one that understands them. Wow. Sabotage. Things aren't always as they appear. They self-sabotage this situation. They want to communicate. I feel like they want to say they're sorry. But is it too late? You know? And then we have, um, for your soul, pray. Stalked, invaded, watched. Okay? Okay. A lot of harsh energy here. Spirit of the Clover, luck, abundance, and summer. Something could have happened over the summer where someone was kind of in some stalkerish energy and Ace of Pentacles, but this was kind of reverse. So you might have feel like this summer you really tried. You almost like stalked them. You almost like forced them, and it was a missed opportunity. I feel like you guys are like, well, better luck this summer because last summer it just didn't work up, work out. I know what you did last summer, okay? Um, it was just like, you're looking for better days. All right. I know there will be better days. Okay. So where are they at in their soul? I feel you heal me with your sexual fire energy. I love how you turn me on and heal me with your love all at the same time. I yearn to heal with you in sexual union. Okay. Spirit, this wants, this person wants union and you want out. It seems like, but you don't know that they want union. That's the thing. Like they don't come forward. They type and then they delete. And then it's like, Whatever perception, foresight, advantage, this person seeing things from a higher perspective with that giraffe. And I want to be the one who stands beside you and assists you in all your successes. Support. So they might have, you know, missed the opportunity to be that support for you. And now they're regretting it and they want to come forward. So let's get one last message from Mystic Moon, Twin Flame Messages, Volume 2. One last thing they want to say to you. It seems like this person has a lot of regret. You still hold a piece of my heart. So you're, you guys are not really quite sure that they hold a piece of your heart. What do you want to say to them? Sorry, that was going to be my ending, but I decided to just, I want to see this. What do you want to say to them? That popped out. I left before you could leave me. You guys are doing this abandonment avoidance thing. You're leaving before they could leave you. So just make sure you're not sabotaging and that sabotage energy is not about you, okay? Don't put up a wall with someone that you actually want to come forward. That's my message. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.